Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In tonight's video, we're going to utilize um, the application that was provided in this uh, article by Frank Nymphius. Um, down here, you can actually grab the file if you need to. Um, it's a um, J developer application. Here it is, actually, we have it. And uh, it's very nice um, because it has a login uh, screen that is a pop up. And you can see here it is. And if we go to the source, um, here we have the pop up. And um, if you click on there, and then if you go to the source and then click on the pop-up, you'll actually come up, see it come up. Um, so what we're going to do is um, take the template uh, that I built in an earlier video and move that into our template so that we can utilize that here. All right, so let me get my template open. I'm going to put end up putting it here. And um, what I think I'm going to do is put a button there so that I can easily identify where that is. And I'm going to go into the source of this page and grab everything from the top, the facet. So I don't want to grab anything that's not part of this. I think that grabs everything. And in fact, the easiest way actually is to click on the um, group layout to make sure. And we're going to move that over to here. And the reason that I put the button in is that it's easy to identify my uh, code here. All right, now you're going to see this light up red in a minute here because none of these things exist. For example, the, um, the login action, that, that's in here these are starting to show up and uh, so what we're going to do is is um, we need to bring in the images also so let's go back to Frank's page I'm going to first of all find the images and here we have images and one nice thing that you can do is click on it and then go up to edit and do copy path okay I have um, Windows Explorer and now you can see that the images. So I'm just going to take this directory here, copy it. Okay, I'm going to uh, put it over here in my image directory here. And um, it probably doesn't show immediately. There it is. So you can see now I have that. Um, I want to make sure that the path is the same. So we have web, con web content and then image. And in mine, it's web content and then image. So hopefully that'll, that'll be found. OK, so next, we need to grab his code. And uh, you can see that I've got the bean here. The login bean will do this one. Let's open that up. And it's nice to open that up so that when we copy and paste it, the class is going to be login bean. And I'm going to put it here, new. And we'll do Java, have a class. And That should do it for now. I guess that's OK where it is. I'm going to now copy that in, get rid of the package. I shouldn't have copied this in. Now, um, one of the things is, is that you're going to be giving, you see a lot of red here, right? So some of it is you have to press, but, but this here is not in, in this um, thing here. So, And this one, well, let's see. 
let's do first of all we're going to go to here and go to our libraries and class path we need to add add library and it's WebLogic Remote Client. Okay. Now you'll start to see those disappear. And um, since I copied all of these in, I suspect that we're going to be fine as far as um, the other things. Um, if you don't, then you're just going to have to click on them and then um, import them. But I think we've got most of those. So we've got that one. Let's go back to Omega, whatever this thing's called. And this is the home managed bean. Um, this has got some logout information, so I want to keep this. Um, let's get that out. Control A. Home managed bean. And um, the directory is probably fine. Um, in my template, I'm probably just going to leave it there. We'll do that and since we're going to be basically covering everything up except that one text. Now this again, you can see that there's quite a lot of red here. This might take a while to do. Um, Let's make sure that I got my importing done. Now you can see here that I have to do the alt enter to, to pull this in. Um, it's interesting that even though I have the imports in let's see when oh uh, you know what the imports did not pull in that's why this is causing this trouble let me get that there's quite a lot of imports in here so let's just grab this okay there they go so this is some of the challenges that you have when you're moving uh, information around. Okay, so we've got the, the login bean and the, um, we can get rid of this one, I believe. This one, we'll get rid of them all. And that'll help make sure. Now what we have to do is register them in the ADF config. And so what I'm going to do is go over to the ADF, double click on it, and then come over to manage beans. We'll click here and add. Now it's under view. So we've got the two here. Okay. So that'll be login bean. And if you look at the uh, template, it's home bean and login. And that's actually what it's referring to. So we'll put that in there and we'll add another one. Uh, interesting. I, I think what I can just do is type view dot again. And uh, I don't know if I home beam. Okay, we've got our home bean, and um, we've got that set up. Um, and what we really need to do to test this now is to do some security on it. So I'm going to go through. I'll do HTTP basic, uh, no automatic grants, and that should pretty much take care of it. Um, now we're going to do secure users. I'm going to create a new user named Stuart. And welcome, I can't type, 
well come one well come one and now I need to do an enterprise role and we're going to do user and actually I'm going to do er user because I'm going to do an application role named er user ar user save and I'm going to assign a application role to the ER user and then we're going to do resource grants and the web page is um, going to be to the untitled I should say is going to go to um, we're going to make that available to everybody okay now it just occurred to me that for testing purposes we really need to have something on here so we do have a button okay and the button says authenticated and if you look here at the text it says security context authenticated and the way I got that was by going into here and just double clicking onto here um, so on under here okay I ran this just to make sure it actually worked and let's take a look at it um, so we have over here we have false we have over here this is the template that we did in an earlier video and we have the login and I'm going to type Stuart and welcome one you can see that now the button here is authenticated is true and you can see that the logout is listed and um, now I've logged out and again it's false I'm going to log in a second time just to show you something and you can see now that I have uh, t tabs open and uh, I'm logged in if I close this tab and then just go back here and we'll double click on this to reopen it again you can see that I am right now logged in logged in um, so you really have to make sure the HTTP basic authentication that we used um, does not uh, work if you have it, it only works full logout works only if you close the entire web page or the in, entire browser so if I close the browser now and reopen it it will be in a logged out status okay so that's how you do it what we did was we took the template that I was working on in a different video and we cannibalized uh, Frank Nipis's um, application to get the home bean and we put that as part of the template so uh, the next part would be obviously to package this so that you could then use it in other applications. I hope that was helpful to you and um, have a great evening.